What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Reacts. We're going with a pretty quick one today, but I'm hoping it has some very interesting and unique stuff to offer about none other than Australia. That's right. We are looking at photos proving that Australia is not like any other continent. So let's just get right into it. This is from a channel called Scoop. You can see right there, and it'll be linked down below. Let's check it out. <laughs> that's pretty funny fatigue zones wow so that's pretty interesting uh yeah when you look at google earth uh someone like me looks at google earth i should say uh yeah you can see how vast australia is we all have heard now even i've heard by now that most people live on the coast you know i'm sure there's various parts for hundreds of kilometers miles whatever you use uh, where there's just next to nothing going on and that can be pretty taxing on you uh, No matter what time of day you can get tired bored, whatever it can be dangerous. So That's very interesting. We have a few places like that uh, in the US it's pretty barren in some parts But uh, I can't imagine it being anything like parts of Australia. So yeah, we don't have any signs quite like that Upside down Wow made in shared down under that's pretty clever <laughs> Everything being upside down, that's the uh, joke there. That's pretty funny. That's cool, a health rating star. Wow. That one I like a lot. Uh, I am a realist, you know, I'm a proud American. I was born and raised here, but, you know, I admit there's a lot of problems here. I'm not one of those, like, boast America's the best and stuff. That is definitely not true. Um, one thing I really am ashamed of in our country is is the food. I, I feel like our food is just so far behind and not real good compared to a lot of countries. So I feel like a lot of unhealthy foods are very much uh, glorified here. There's definitely no health rating. You know, they have to provide the nutrition facts, of course, but uh, it's at your own discretion. You have to search for them, right? There's nothing that's going to blatantly tell you like, hey, this is unhealthy. Maybe you shouldn't eat it, you know. <laughs> so in the interest of public health, I think that's an awesome, awesome deal that they show some ratings on food. That's pretty neat. Wow. Soap melted in the house. <laughs> or a public restroom, whatever it was. Old Coke machine in rural Australia. Look at that. Wow, that's got to be pretty old. Look at that terrain. You can see uh, some mountains back there. Wow, that's pretty neat. Oh my god, the speed bump was even deforming. <laughs> How hot does it get in parts of Australia? Now remember, we use Fahrenheit. Most of the world, including you guys, uses Celsius. Go ahead and comment Celsius if you want down below if you know some. Uh, I'll try and do the calculations on my phone when I read them. I know in America, you know, of course, out west or down south, it can get, you know, high 90s Fahrenheit. Even here in Illinois, it can get, you know, 92, 93, 94 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, of course, you have places like New Mexico, Arizona, Texas. They can get, you know, 105, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, nothing compares to Death Valley. Death Valley, California that can get 126, 127 degrees Fahrenheit. So I imagine there's parts of the outback, I would guess, that can get pretty hot. Definitely let me know how hot we're talking, even in the populated areas, right? Whoa, that is weird. It does look invisible. <laughs> it's so, uh, the reflections are so spot on. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> Double banana. How in the world? That's pretty cool. I haven't seen one of those. Artwork ahead. <laughs> yeah, you don't want people uh, calling the cops every five minutes for that. Oh, that's pretty neat. The odd bunch. That's great for reducing waste. Another thing. Good on you, mates. That's a really strange rock. What? That looks like a uh, 
Zebra cake. <laughs> we have zebra cakes here. You might have something similar down there. It literally looks just like that. It's a cake that's in like a little hexagon shape, and it's like a zebra. And that, that rock looked insane. That was really cool. Perth, Australia. Paper plane instructions. That's too funny. Wow. Chewing gum police. Gum patrol. <laughs> Now that is uh, something I've never seen before either. That's neat. That's a neat maze. Wow, that is uh, bizarre. Wow, looks abandoned almost, right? Yep, that's something you guys have told me. So that is true. There it is. Look at that. You guys have told me that McCafe was actually started in, you know, McDonald's down under. That's really cool. But uh, to see it actually displayed as Mecca's, that's pretty funny. You got to admit, like, the fact that they embrace that, like, good on them, right? Like, might as well. Kim Jong Yum. Wow, there it is. <laughs> I wonder if that sells well. A lot of these are just funny, like things melting. That's pretty bad. Wow. Geez, that's a giant, giant, giant boulder <laughs> falling into the road. Whoa, they got lights on their tails. All right, that's uh, pretty innovative actually. Whoa, hold up. This street art. That had me like, that had me, that had me all messed up. Like what? I thought that was digital for a second. That's part of the artwork. It goes to the ground onto the actual sides of these buildings and somehow from that angle looks perfect. That's really neat. Wow. Very cool. Oh, that's neat. You see it right in the middle there? That's really cool. Okay, that's neat. I've heard of that in, I feel like, some other countries, too. Not here in America. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It says relax. <laughs> relax, you don't have to run people over and... Uh, Fear missing your plane. That is cool. I've seen this before. That's really neat. That rock formation. Ooh. Over Adelaide. It's like a rainbow cloud for sure. That's neat. I suppose that can happen anywhere, right? But. Oh, wow. They actually do put signs up for magpies. That's on my list, by the way. I really. If you guys know of a good video showing. Uh, what magpies can do or or them acting crazy. I would love for you to put it down below uh, I that's on my list to react to I, I still have not done these these have been a long time coming I'm anxious to learn about these they seem so bizarre to me uh, But I know a lot of you guys have said these are like legit dangers like like people joke about uh, How foreigners think oh, there's all these dangerous things in Australia. Well <laughs> people say real Australians really fear those more than uh, a lot of, you know, spiders and stuff. That's pretty neat. Just bizarre uh, architecture. I mean, it does look like Tetris. Ooh. That's eerie looking, huh? I imagine that's from uh, maybe the bushfires recently, right? Was that last year? Uh, or something like that. That That's unfortunate. Jeez. That's crazy, man. Okay, so they do sell these here. This is something I've heard of in different countries that they, like, don't sell regularly. And you have to get at, like, certain stores for American-themed parties, which I just find hilarious because my whole life... We've grown up with red solo cups. That's just like a thing. Well, it's not a thing, but it's a thing everywhere else. Like, that's just normal to me. So the fact that, like, other countries sell them 
and and it's I guess like a thing to them. Just cracks me up, right? But uh, they do sell them maybe more often in Australia, which is cool. But they call them college cups, which is hilarious because <laughs> even though they're used for everything in America, uh, yeah, they're very synonymous with partying, uh, college, you know, frat parties, stuff like that. So that that is pretty pretty funny that they call them college cups. <laughs> Golden Gay Time Unicorn. Wow. Well, I have never seen those. That is for sure. <laughs> oh, they have a thing for your surfboard. Wow. That is hella Australian right there. That's cool. Those are all stacked rocks. Wowza. Dang. Hope no one walked through there. No drone zones. Now, this is another one that should be prevalent everywhere uh it's one of those painfully obvious but useful signs that unfortunately again i've never seen for the most part in america at all uh definitely not displayed as easily like this i've seen you know faa like signs that may have a bunch of small print and uh in other words telling you that you can't fly a drone but not really making it easy to tell you so you know 99 out of 100 people would not know and they could get in trouble. This at least spells it out for you. And uh, sometimes you wonder why that doesn't happen more often here. That's cool, double-decker train, wow. I'm sure you've heard American Transit is horrible. It's your car or nothing, pretty much. <laughs> That's really, wait, let me, let me see that again, hold on. They have a hologram cockatoo on their new $10 note. That's really neat, too. So that's on their currency. Wow. Uh, that is on my list as well. Uh, a couple people have told me to do reactions to Australian money, so i got to find the right video uh, that would explain that to me. But I heard it's really cool, and I guess uh, was pretty important in uh, a lot of modern currencies. So, yeah, that should be coming up soon. That is a really skinny building. They are not kidding. Wow. Some of those were kind of eh, but some of those were pretty neat. And uh, I feel like that, again, that's just a few things that would make Australia pretty unique. I feel like there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things that make them very unique. But uh, sometimes these videos are just fun to do. A lot of those were really useful things that I kind of wish we had here in America, and we just don't. I like the food one with the health rating. I like the painfully obvious signs that explain stuff. Uh, some of that stuff is just so vague in other countries, uh, or at least here in America. And it's like, dude, you know, if you don't want drones here, why not just put it on sign, you know? <laughs> but it's more of a guessing game in America until the cops show up and <laughs> want to put you in cuffs. So. <laughs> so leave your comments down below if any of these might have shocked you if you're from Australia and you're like, what? That's normal to me, but, you know. It might be interesting to the rest of the world, kind of like the Solo Cup thing is normal to me and interesting to the rest of the world. So uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, learn something new, subscribe for more stuff like this. My name is Ian, you're watching IW Rocker. A lot more to come, stay tuned. Awesome, awesome videos on my very soon list. I'll catch you later.